Hello, beautiful ballerinas. Um, I'm here in our wonderful studio here, I'm making a video for you so that even though we're all homebound these days, um, you can continue dancing and um, enjoying just yourself moving. Um, before we begin our class, I wanted to um, uh, show you a couple of things. Maybe you can get some items, gather some items um, in your home that you can use during our dance class today. Um, the first is any sort of scarf that you may have. If you have, it doesn't have to be a particular type of length or color or anything, but just a beautiful scarf. We're going to use something like that. If you don't have a scarf, you can just use any type of fabric that you have. Um, would work just fine. Or even ribbons. If you have ribbons, you can use those as well. Um, the next thing is um, something that you can throw up in the air. You can either use the scarf, or today I'm going to use some nice flower petals here. Okay, so um, you could also use pom-poms, like craft pom-poms if you have them, or you could use really anything. Anything that's just fun to throw up in the air that wouldn't be too, too messy. Um, if you don't have anything like that, then I have a really good idea. You can use magic fairy dust, which of course we know is invisible, but I think whoever's taking care of you right now could, I think they have some, you could ask them, they could reach into their pocket and give you some that we can use for later. Um, and the last thing is um, something that shakes and makes noise. I have here a tambourine. Um, if you don't have a tambourine, you could use a maraca, or you could use anything that, that makes a fun sound and shake. You could go into your spice cabinet, and you could find something in there that shakes, maybe a container of, of um, sesame seeds or something like that, that just makes a fun um, shaking noise. We'll use that for jumping later. Okay. Um, so, um, our theme for this class is springtime. Since it's now springtime, how wonderful. We get to enjoy all the wonderful things that come with spring, the rain and the flowers and the rainbows and um, just a wonderful um, blossoming of our world. So, I wanted to embrace that with our class and um, without further ado, we'll get started. We're gonna do our warm-up exercise first. We're gonna do our wiggle warm-up. So make sure you have enough space wherever you are in your home that you can move around. Make sure you move all the furniture out of the way. You don't need to trip on along the floor. Okay, we're going to start standing up. As always, we start with our ballet posture. All right, we have our feet together, and then we're going to start with our head to dance. We're going to wiggle all the different parts of the body to wake them up and to get ready to dance. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Excellent. 
this now. Sitting down like ballerinas. Do you remember how to do it? So we start by standing, and remember, we kneel down one knee, and then the other, then we sit on one hip, and we do our mermaids, right? We sit like mermaids, we're blushing in the air, and then we bring our legs out to the front. So we're sitting with our legs up straight in front of us. And we just want the right feet, remember, because ballerinas do both their feet, they point it nice and strong. So we're going to work on pointing and flexing now so we can really get our feet very, very strong for ballet. Okay, we're going to sit with a beautiful, sometimes like that, posture. Okay, with your fingertips right beside us. All right, here we go. against the wall um, and we're going to try that now I want you to take a moment you can pause the video and find a safe place in your home where you can do this you just need um, to be able to sit on the floor and put your feet up against the wall okay and then we'll go through pushing and we're going to use our legs and our feet to push ourselves against the wall now um, if you don't have a space like that in your home um, that's okay Instead of using the wall, you can um, use whoever's taking care of you right now, your mom, your dad, grandma, grandpa, anyone who's around, um, you can push against their hands. Remember how we do that in class sometimes? I put my, my hands up against your, your flex teeth, and then you push them and show me how strong you are. So you can either do that or you can find a wall. I'm going to do it against the wall, okay? You'll see me from the back. And on the countdown, just like we do in class, but we'll use it with music this time. And you're going to push. Now remember, no cheating. So we don't use our hands to push. We're using just our feet and um, our legs to push. Um, and we're really working on pointing so that when you push away really strongly, <clears throat> we don't let our feet go, you know, sloppy all of a sudden. We keep pointing back. And we hold our backs. So we hold our posture. Okay, so I'm going to give you some time to find a wall or, or go, go find someone who can help you. And then I'm going to come right up against the wall behind me, okay? Excellent. So we're right up against that wall. We're going to use our hands to help us. We've got our toes and the walls are up against our knees are nice. We snuggle them nice and close. Are you ready? And push, and hold, and go back to the wall, toes, ready, and five, four, three, two, go, and push, legs straight, feet pointed, come back to the wall, we count it, five, four, three, two, go, and push, let's try it one more time, ready, come back, five, four, three, two, go, and push, Check your legs, check your feet, and you point it to the next street. Keep your posture strong. you want to throw up in the air. So I'm going to grab um, my flower petals here. But if you wanted to use a scarf, you can go ahead and grab that now. So come back to our spot here. And we're going to sit crisscross on the toes. Okay? Now this is our exercise when we work on our first positions. First position arms, okay? So our arms, can we just remember for a moment, what's first position? I hope we haven't forgotten. It's a circle shape, isn't it? It's a circle shape in front of our body. And remember, we've been working on ballerina hands. Okay? So ballerina hands is where we put our 
thumb tucked in, and I'm going to give her just out a little bit. Great, and now lift it half the elbows here. So we're going to count our fingers, a one and a two and a three and a four, switch, a one and a two and a three and a four, both hands together, one and two and a three and a four, and whatever item you decided to, to throw from here, you place it in front of us now. And we're just going to pinch the little hands half up in the air. Okay, now to pull around the tree. I chose power for the pedals because it reminded me of, of springtime. Okay. Alright, so we're going to be sitting up nice and tall. We're going to remember that nice, beautiful circle shape of our first position. And we're not too high with our arms, right in line with our back. Okay, ready? Good job. 
oh, I just sort of loved to see all the wonderful poses you all chose. And we were just fantastic. Okay. Okay. So now that we've worked on our balancing, we're going to do our ballet runs. Okay, now I know you remember that ballerinas run. You've heard of ballerinas run? Wait, I think they run on their toes, right? Okay, on their toes. So we're going to practice that now. Now, usually in class, we do this in a circle, don't we? We do this in a big circle. But today, since you're in your own space, you can really use whatever shape uh, you, you would like to do, whatever shape works for the space that you're in. So maybe that's a diamond, maybe that's a heart shape, maybe that's just a big squiggle, okay? Whatever shape works for you, maybe you're doing a spiral, it's just running around yourself, okay? Whatever works for the space you're in and what you, what you feel like you want to do, that's the, the shape you'll, you'll do today, okay? Well, in, usually in class we do this one at a time because we're in a group of people, but since you're on your own today, um, you can just run for as much, for as long as you like. I'm going to keep the music playing, and I'll keep running, all right? But whenever you, you feel like you're, you're finished, you can always finish in your own pose and come to a nice stopping point, okay? Just remember to run on your toes. So can we get ready? So find a good starting space. I'm going to find mine. I put a spot over there for myself to begin. So we're going to find that, that spot to start. Okay. Are we ready? So the good thing about being in class by yourself is that everyone gets to be alone here, right? You can be your own here. Oh, oh. I forgot to tell you something. So, what I forgot to tell you was, um, I was walking this morning, and I heard those beautiful birds chirping. They were singing their morning song. And um, it's one of the wonderful things about spring, too, is you can hear just all the birds singing. So, I thought about today, while we're doing our ballet runs, we can pretend we're, we're birds. Okay, so you can be any kind of bird you like. You could be um, a beautiful parrot, or you could be a little hummingbird with little quick wings, or a bluebird, or a cardinal, or any kind of bird you want to be. Okay, so have a quick think about that. And you can you can tell whoever's with you what kind of bird you're going to be today. And um, so while we're running, we'll use our arms as wings to flap. Okay, if you're a hummingbird, maybe you have little short wings. Yeah, you have little fast, quick wings. Maybe you're an eagle and you have very broad wings. So whatever kind of bird you are, your wings can can suit you. So we'll use our arms that way to run. Sorry, I forgot to tell, to tell you. Okay. I'm trying to think, hmm, what kind of bird do I want to be? I think we'll be a toucan. Okay, are we ready? Five, let's go. favorite. I love them. So useful too. Okay. So have a rest because I'm sure you're a little tired like I am from running that much. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is our butterfly dance. I don't know if you remember the butterfly dance, so I'll just remind you real quick. The butterfly dance is where we work on our rainbow transfer of weight. Okay. Now, do you remember the rainbow transfer of weight? I think I do. I'll remind you just in case you forgot. Rainbow transfer of weight is where you're going to make a rainbow with your body, going from one side up and over to the other, up and over, up and over. So in this dance, we pretend that we're in a beautiful spring meadow, okay? And all around, flying 
are butterflies. And we're going to look for the one, the perfect one, to catch. So we look once, and twice, and three times, and four times, and you see it, the perfect butterfly. You run, ballet runs, of course, run, 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 and you catch it. But you missed. But you decide to look again. You won't be defeated. You look once, and twice, and three times, and four times, you see it, run, 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 and catch it. You missed again. Oh. But you decide you will not give up. You will look a third time. And you look, and you look, and you look. Oh, you see it? There it is, your butterfly. Run, 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 run. And the catch. You listen. You can hear its wings beating. You've got it. And we're going to spin in a circle, and all together we will release our butterflies, okay? Now, at the end, we can't tell each other our butterflies, can we? But we can tell whoever is with us, whoever's taking care of us for the day, we can tell them what kind of butterfly we caught. And I just can't wait to hear all the wonderful butterflies that you have caught um, when I see you again. I bet they're just going to be gorgeous. Okay, so now that we've had our rest, let's find our spot again, and we'll get ready to do our butterfly dance. Now this one starts in first position. We didn't go over first position feet, did we? But I think you remember that. We were making a wonderful piece of, piece of pie slice, right? Let's go to stand up. We'll find our spot to begin. We're making our beautiful first position here. We're sitting nice and tall, and we're just watching all the butterflies flying all around us. Are you ready? Let's begin. We did our rainbow transfer of weight, right? But we learned another kind of transfer of weight. I wonder if you remember what it is. It's actually not rainbow, it's the smiley face. Do you remember smiley face transfer of weight? Now here's where your scarf is going to come in handy, or your ribbons, whatever you've chosen to use. So you can use a short ribbon like this. You don't need something too big or crazy. Or you could use kind of a crazy scarf like this. Okay, anything sort of long and flowy will, will be good. I think you remember our our smiley face transfer of weight dance. That's when we do, we do the song too, right? The sailing song. So today we'll use the scarf or the ribbon, whatever you have, okay, for the down and up motion. So let's practice um, smiley face transfer of weight before we do the dance. Okay. So this one also starts in first position, doesn't it? Okay, we start in first position and we're going to do a big bend as we slide to the one side. Bend and slide, bend and slide, bend and slide, and bend and slide. And our scarf, our ribbon is going like this, isn't it? It's going back and forth and back and forth. Okay, excellent. So now that we've reviewed smiley face, I think we're, I think we're ready. We're ready to start our dance. Longer music. Ah, there it is. So remember, we're going sailing, sailing over the ocean blue. We're traveling along the way just to see you. Oops, I dropped my scarf. So, the fun thing about having a scarf ribbon is that when you get to the you part, you can punch your scarf or your ribbon. Adam, at whoever you're, you're doing this with, okay? Um, and I'll point it right at the camera, okay? All right, so are we ready? I think we're ready to start. Feet in first position, holding our posture once more. 
We're ready to do our smiley face transfer, but here we go. we're going to jump next. Now here's where you need your shaky thing, okay? So go find whatever shaky thing you found. Um, I'm sure you found something just wonderful. Makes all sorts of fun noise. Okay. And we're going to, to use our, our shaky instrument to, to do our jumps next, okay? So if you need an extra break, please pause, pause the video, okay? If you have a sip of water, okay, just take a rest before you're ready to go kind of jumping. It can take a lot of energy, can't it? Just make sure you breathe. And we're rested and we're ready. Okay, so this jump is a little bit fun. I don't think we've done this in class before, so we're going to teach you a new, a brand new jump. Okay, so we're going to step back into our spot here. This one's going to start with our feet together and feet parallel, okay? We're going to do three bends. One, two, three. You're going to do a big jump as high as you can make it. Up! And then at the end, you're going to shake your instrument. Now, when you do the three bends, you have the option of keeping your arms behind your back. One, two, three. And jump and shake so that your instrument is kind of a surprise. Or, if you have a tambourine or something else, you can either tap it three times as you bend, or you can shake it three times as you bend. Okay, and so it's up to you, it's your choice. Surprise or using it with the music. Okay. I think I'm going to keep my behind my back so I can do it as a big surprise for you when I jump. Now remember, ballerinas do something special with their feet when they jump, which is we point them, okay? So I'm going to ask you to be very careful as you jump to point your feet, okay? And to try to get your knees straight when you're up in the air. The other thing we do is when we jump is when we land our jump, we bend our knees. It gives a nice cushion for our body. Right, so it makes it nice and soft and safe for our body when you bend our knees. Okay. All right, I think we're ready to jump. Do you have your, your instrument? Okay, so you're either having it behind your back for a surprise, or you have it in front of your body to tap as you bend. All right, are we ready to go? I think we are. Five steps. Here we go. Then one, two, three, and jump and shake. you can do with this jumping exercise. Instead of doing it in feet parallel, you could do it in first position. Okay? So instead of just keeping our feet together, we can bring our feet to first position and repeat the exact same exercise. So if you'd like to do that, you can bring the video back to the beginning of this one so you can use the same music, it's the same movement, the three bends, the big jump and then the shake but just keeping our legs in first position. And whoever is doing this video with you, they can, they can help you keep your feet in first position before you jump and land with your feet in first position. Those are two very important things um, to do when you do that version, the first position jumping version, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put my instrument up um, and I'm gonna get out a spot. Now, if you don't have a spot at home, that's okay. Just find something kind of flat um, that wouldn't be too slippery on your floor that you can jump over, 
Okay, so I've got a spot here because um, we're going to be jumping over and side to side the spots. We don't want something too slippery because we don't want to have an accident. Okay, um, this one's going to be a really fun one. It's going to help us um, understand how our body can move in different positions. Okay, and training us to understand which way our body is going. So I'm going to put my spot right here in front of me. The first way we're going to move is forward of our spot and backwards of our spot. Okay. So we'll go forward and backwards, forward and backwards, then we'll go side and side. Okay, just like that. So forward, backward, forward, backwards. We'll have a rest, come back to our spot. Then we'll have side, 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 rest, and back to our spot. Sounds good? Okay. So you find your spot. I'm going to actually use the right one set the blue one. And ready? Here we go. Hands on our waist as we do this one. Two, three, four. And in front of your spot. And behind. And in front. And behind. Spot again, then breathe in and out and side and side, side, side. Now, anything else you'd like to do? Walk your fingers around your spot, find your spot again, then deep breath. Well done. So we were jumping forward and backwards and side to side over our spot. Now, we have only a few more things left that we're going to do today in our class, and they're one of my favorites. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is our skips. We haven't practiced our skips today, and skips are very important, aren't they? So today, I thought about, let's do some special skips. Instead of just skipping around, okay, because we are in our own homes today, and we are dancing together through this video, I thought, let's create a story with our skips. So I was, I was wondering if you've ever heard the story of Red Riding Hood. And um, Red Riding Hood was a little girl um, who she heard that her grandmother was not feeling well. So she decided to take um, a package of all very nice things, um, like food and flowers and things like that, to her grandmother. So she decided to go to her grandmother's house through the woods, of course. And in the woods lived a big bad wolf. And um, she was a quite brave, brave little girl, wasn't she, to go all the way through the woods by herself. We're not going to do the part where she meets the wolf, but we're going to do the part where she's skipping through the woods. So as we skip, we're going to pretend we're skipping through the woods and we come across a beautiful field of flowers, wild flowers. And we think, oh, my grandmother would love wild flowers. I'm going to pick her some flowers. So we're going to skip, a skip and 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 a skip, eight times. Then we're going to stop, notice the flowers, and we're going to pick some and put them in our basket. Now I'm going to use a pretend basket, but if you have a real basket at home, you could ask permission to use that basket to skip with. Wouldn't that be fun? And you can pretend you're picking flowers as you're putting them in the real basket. Then we're going to skip again, a skip and 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 a skip, eight times, and we'll pick a few more flowers, okay? At the end, you can finish in your own pose, or a nice, a nice thought I had was to take one of the flowers and pretend to smell it at the end, because I'm sure they just smell beautiful, okay? So if you want to take a moment to pause, find a basket that you might have around the home, you can do that. Um, but right now, we're going to get ready to do our our red riding hood skips. Okay. All right. So find your starting place. Now once again, you can do this in a circle or you can just do this in any sort of pattern you like. Any any direction you can go in a zigzag or a swirl or anything you like. Okay. Whatever you have space um, for at home. Okay, here we go.
which is pointing your feet. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I completely forgot. I'm sorry about that, but I'm sure you remember to point your feet. But because I forgot, I think we should do skips again. What do you think? We should do skips again. Now, this time, instead of holding the basket, okay, let's put our hands on our waist. And that when we stop, we'll do the other part of the story, which is where we think we see people. Okay. So we'll skip this, 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 then we think we see something, so we'll look. And we'll look. We don't see anything. So we keep skipping. Let's skip this, skip this, skip this, skip this, skip, 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 skip. And we think we see something. Look. And look at the very end. We're scared, so we're going to run and hide behind a tree. Okay? Sounds good? Okay. Find your starting place, and we're going to do our skips again. Here we go. That's fun. The last thing that we're gonna do before we do our final dance, um, our pony gallops. Now in class, do you remember what we do? We pretend that we have a magical stable, and we go to the magical stable, and we get our animal. So today we can pretend the same thing together, can't we? So you can choose any animal you like to ride. You don't have to ride a pony. You could ride a giraffe, or a rhinoceros, or a turtle, which would be very slow, but might be fun. And you're gonna to go to your magical stable in your home, wherever that is. Okay. Untie carefully your animal, lead them gently to your starting place, and then get ready to gallop. Now remember how we hold our hands when we gallop. We have a special hold. We make a thumbs up with one hand, we turn it to the side, and then we hold on to our thumb. And that way our hands don't separate as we gallop, because galloping is a quite, quite a bumpy thing, and sometimes our hands can come apart easily. So if we hold our thumb nice and tight, make sure we keep our hands together. Now pointing our feet is also important when we pony gallop. And also something different, which is lifting our knees quite high. So when we pony gallop, we don't want to just uh, look like our animal is very tired. We need a nap. We want to lift our knees really high up into the air. Um, so if we're really jumping and it, just, and it just looks like our animal is just so full of energy and so happy. So I was thinking, Today, we could pretend that we're galloping, hmm, hmm, maybe on the beach. Maybe we should ride our animals on the beach by the water. That would be nice. We'd feel the breeze in our face. We could smell the salty water. Something like that would be nice. Okay, so I'm going to give you a minute. Go get your animal from your magical stables, and I'll meet you. I'm sorry. I'll meet you at our starting point. Okay, are we ready? Okay, do you have your animal? Are you ready? Let's get to our starting place. Stable time over here. Alright, so the last thing we're going to do together is our statue in the garden dance. Now, in case you forgot, I'll remind you that statues in the garden is the dance, which we will pretend we're all statues in the garden. And while the gardener is in the garden, Watering all the plants, we um, we can't move. We have to be very still as a statue. When the gardener leaves the garden, 
for the night, locks the garden gate, all the statues come to life, and they can dance any way they want, okay? Now, usually in class, I'm the gardener and I water all the plants, and then I leave the garden and I just watch you dance, right? Well, today, since we're all dancing in our own homes, I thought, I'll pretend to be the gardener, and then I'll come back and pretend to be a statue too, so we can do it together. How about that? I'll try to do two rolls at once. But remember, you can still dance any way you want. You don't have to dance like I'm dancing. This is a time for you to just embrace whatever you feel, however you want to move. You can spin, you can jump, um, you can glide, you can run, you can hop, you can practice your balancing, anything you want to do you feel in your heart, that's what you should do. Because that's what that's what dancing is about. It's about what we feel in our heart and putting that out there using our bodies, okay? All right, so take a deep breath. And think of what kind of statue you can be. Hmm. Hmm. I think today I'll be a mermaid statue, okay? And you're gonna find your, your spot in your home to do this. Okay, I'm gonna get our music ready. All right, so now, while you're getting situated as a statue, are you ready now? Good, okay, here we go. There's a garden in the park, water in the flowers. in separate places, we should still finish our class with a curtsy. What do you think? We can't make our circle and tell secrets like we usually do. We can still finish our class with a curtsy. Before we do, I just want to tell you all how much um, I wish we could be together and um, how I'm so proud of you for continuing to dance, even though our routine is off and we don't get to be in class together. Um, you can dance anywhere. Okay, and you can um, you can use the space that you have. You can use any music that you have at home, and you can move your body. Okay, so continue to keep up your dancing. Keep posting videos to help you keep up with class and keeping on um, growing in your skills and um, being the best the best ballerina you can be. All right, let's finish with our curtsy. You ready? In my first position, let's bring our arms to first, and to second position, and we can each other thank you, and go behind, thank you. I'm so proud of you all, I so enjoyed dancing with you during this class, and I will see you next time.